So when you start off after the train, you come to this area here. It's the rivers section where you have different freshwater life from different river systems. That part was just the North American. Now this is the South American. They have some textural designs inside the tank which make it look more closely to the region that they're trying to emulate, which is really cool. Here we have the piranha tank that was down the hall from the river systems. Have a very healthy school of piranhas and some neon tetras. Really cool. For here there's this the river otter enclosure. There's two views to it. This is the top. The otters are very active and healthy, and you can tell this place is going to go crazy afterwards. This is a stingray pool. They have younger Kano stingrays here, and the water is very clean. This is a very interactive piece of the aquarium, and I'm proud to say that it's very clean and really fun to watch them swim around and interact with the stingrays. Here they come now. There's a school of them, they're very young. Over here, this is the touch tide pool for all the invertebrates. There's a wide variety of creatures in here. Uh, they also have a Stanley Cup lobster, which is pretty cool. It's a blue lobster. Here he is in here in honor of the blues winning the Stanley Cup. There's a small tank with some frustrations in there, some garden eels. You can see that they're planning to add some more creatures later on, so some of these exhibits are at the most very well oriented for a new species of fish that they'll be adding. This is on the way to the shark cannon, a giant room with a school of herring, multiple species of schooling fish, some reef sandbar, and nurse sharks. Very rare sight is the stingrays in here, and as well as the nurse shark that is swimming right now, that yellowish shark right there. They usually only come out at night, but at this rare occurrence, they're out and about swimming around with the other fish. As you can see, the schooling fish are very well oriented to the top of the water, giving it an almost therapeutic effect if you look up. There's another side view here. This one is coming from above. This shows the herring and some sharks swim across as well. This is all in one area. This is the shark cannon. Canyon? Pardon. Um... It's a very wonderful area. It's very dark, but the lights from the tank and the water give it almost like a soothing or calming effect. As you can see, this window here is very beautiful to use as a wallpaper for your phone. So there's also that to set your phone flat on something and then just record for a few seconds and then you have a nice wallpaper. Okay, here, this is the next area of the tank. As you can see, we have those herring again. There's some other creatures on the side here that weren't on the other side. We have some uh, porcupine puffer fish was floating around here. So they're the same sharks from earlier. Right here, this is the sea dragon closure. We modeled it off of a kelp forest. As you can see here, there's some leafy and weedy sea dragons. These are related to seahorse, and they're pretty exotic. I like seeing them here. Tank was very clean. They seem really happy. Oh, just another beautiful species of wildlife we saw here. Very unique, very colorful. This is the deep ocean area, and it was unfinished. They're still renovating it. But... They have some jellyfish here, which are really cool. Two types of species. There's the moon jellyfish, and then there's these smaller ones. You can see their body somewhat produces some degree of reflective light. 
so that's kind of cool. Um, they're mostly water, as with all jellyfish are, so very translucent, very ethereal looking creatures. You got to see them up close thanks to these um, ovoid and cylindrical tanks. The lighting in here is somewhat dark, but then again, it's for the deep ocean, as it's here. And there's the ecological statement for conservation and helping the wildlife, which is always a good thing. All of you guys should help out the wildlife as much as you can. Here's just a um, glimpse again at the open roof area and to conclude I want to say that the St. Louis Aquarium was a marvelous trip uh, it's at Union Station so it's all with all the other stuff you could do down there but it is a must go for tourists or locals beautiful lighting beautiful theatrics at the beginning with the train project and I could say that I'm proud to see this place grow and grow with more customers and people who enjoy wildlife and just people who like looking at fish. Uh, it's a wonderful area. Please come check them out. It's at Union Station. Uh, it was a pleasure going to the aquarium.